Being on set was a really good time. It was very tiring, but overall, I think it was really fun and I think we all bonded. It was fun working with everyone. It was just fun. Oh, it was amazing. It was amazing. I love the crew. It, it was, we had a lot, a lot of fun. It's the most fun I've had in like such a long time. Um, I really enjoyed it for the two times where I made an appearance. It was fun. It was a really good time. Everyone has a lot of energy. Um, so everyone's kind of always hyping each other up and saying jokes. So it's a really you know fun experience. <laughs> Well, it was an experience to be sure. I mean, we, I mean, there was what, three days of shooting and just all kinds of, it's just crazy stuff that happened. I think one of the hardest shots of the film was the good days with the ring. We did that on a whole different setup. And it just, when we got back, we realized that the logo inside the ring box was showing. We had to rework the angles. We had like one angle set up where she was running to the curb and then we couldn't use that. There was some safety precautions that we had to take that made us change the shot again. Having to keep reshooting and rearranging what it was going to look like on set. Biggest struggles on set. I think it's the last shot. We found out that morning we had we were thrown a little bit of a curveball. Just because for the, all the other ones we had it really planned out from the jump. But this one there were a lot of things that we needed to include that we hadn't accounted for. And so it was just a lot of time trying to figure out logistics. Which was, um, it was like a biking scene and then there were pedestrians walking around in the background and I was in the car with the Jacqueline and we had like a scene before that that ended up getting cut, like explaining us getting in the car and like putting on our seatbelts and then driving away. Oh, okay, so the battery issue. So we all rolled up to the community center where we were supposed to meet Bernadette and her little cousins. And this was the one scene where time mattered so much. We only had these kids for a limited amount of time. And then, you know, you know, we're hanging out, like getting set up. Marcus, you know, I see him like fumbling around and then all of a sudden I say some things, but then like more importantly, me and him make eye contact and we're like, oh no, the battery. Um, so then we had to drive quickly but safely back to the office. When there was traffic, cause it was like construction. So we're sitting there and like, it was like a stressful moment, but luckily we were able to get the battery and then book it back on time. And then we finished the shot and they were able to, to get the class away. So. I was with Oliver and everyone else was uh, like I'm gonna meet us at a community center. Now we just kind of have to wait, and so we just went with the kids to go get pizza. We were just hanging out in Pizza Pizza until they came back in their time. I think I'm not just say like Oliver on that. Want to go with Oliver because he low key like left to go to Starbucks. Um, Oliver, it's because he made like a little trip to the washroom for a few moments. Has to be Oliver just because like it took him like an hour to find a washroom. There's a thread with this. We're all kind of <laughs> lucky that my boy Oliver. That was Oliver's bladder. <laughs> Define diva. Uh, just a backstory, you know, he had to go to the washroom, you know, and he, <laughs> he left. It was like the most important scene because the sun set, so we had to get the timing perfect, and then like all over he's just standing, we're just about to blow me, he's like, I gotta go, so he goes. I actually thought he got kidnapped because he was gone for so long, or I thought he got like mugged or something. It was like, okay, I'll just walk to the to the parking lot, like where there's, you know, there was like a little, little building there that had bathrooms in it. But when I walked up to it, there was a sign on it that said, it said closed for the season. I'm just like, okay, like what season of the year is bathroom season? Like, I don't understand. Like, and so I'm just like, okay, you know, I'll let them know. Okay, I'm just gonna go across the street to the Starbucks and like, you know, go to the bathroom there. It turns out it was one of those Starbucks that were inside a grocery store and that grocery store did not have a bathroom. So then I had to walk across the street to a gas station. And so I used the bathroom there. Give it to Michael. Um, Michael. I think it's probably Michael. It has to be Michael. I would have to go to Michael. It is to, to Michael, I guess. Most fun on set, like that's hard to pick. I have to go with Oliver's grandmother. I'd say me. I'd say I'm, I'm the fun, most fun person on set. I, I, he's just unstoppable the whole time. He just, I think unstoppable might be the wrong word. He just didn't stop. Uh, he provided endless loads of entertainment. When we were all in the car, I think it was, Marcus was driving, or when Nicole was driving. No, Marcus was driving, and it was Michael, Nicole, and I in the car. And this was when we were first getting to know him because at the beginning of the day, he was really quiet. But then as the day went on, he became more and more comfortable. I brought him on set and said, you know, I'll meet you. I'll introduce you to the crew and stuff. And everyone loved him. He's very like erratic, very <laughs> with his riddles and everything. But like, I'll, I will say it did make being on set fun. And so we're all in the car and then he's like, oh, I have some like really good jokes for you guys. And we're like, okay, like go ahead. And then he starts whipping out these vegan jokes and we're not laughing. 
and he's like, wait, are you guys vegan? Is that why you're not laughing? And we're like, no, it's just not funny. <laughs> but <laughs> he was trying, he was, he was a good time. Michael was a blast, he gave us riddles. Like, how could I like resist that? Um, I can't resist that. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> what am I saying? I think that's like a given. Michael's always a really good time. Trying to steal my best friend. I mean, it's not a debate because I'm Marcus's best friend. No, I mean, I have the experience and the and the and the time with my best friend, but you know, it's like this little thing where Michael kept saying that Marcus was his best friend because they knew each other for a long time. But I do want to just mention it's quality over quantity. She's trying to say that Marcus Marcus is her best friend because you know, uh, they 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 can make jokes with each other, connect better, and stuff like that. But you know what? I knew him first. He's his best friend. We sit beside each other in the office every day. We have this like running gag that me and him are going to start this YouTube channel where I'm going to go try different ice cream places. Then he's going to be behind the camera and film it, like what he's doing right now. It's if I have ice cream in my hand. And we review different ice cream places. So I think like that, you know, Vaughn particularly has really made our friendship grow stronger. I would say my mama. She's my best friend. <laughs> I'm going to be safe right now. Say my mom, I love you, mom. I'm staying out of trouble. That's what it is. That's my answer. <laughs> Boring. Because, like, no laughter, no people talking. We just Ellie and I in here. It just got kind of boring. But, like, it's okay. You guys are back now, so it's fun again. Ew wasn't very fun being in the empty office. Um, I like having someone to go to or like hearing the giggles in the back sometimes. I like the car rides like to the different locations because like we were always in different cars so there were always different people. Like I wasn't even in the car with um, where and it was like Michael and Nicole and like Serena and like a couple other people and he kept giving them riddles and like making it into like a point system and it was just like really funny to hear about it. He ended up doing the same thing to like me and like the other people who weren't in the car. So I think some of my favorite moments were just seeing all of the different ways that Marcus was attempting to get all the different shots. like just. For example, like when the way that he was sitting in the sitting in the passenger seat when we're getting like the bad days shot, or just the way that he was maneuvering the camera when we were trying to get the last shot, and just all those different ways that the camera work was done, I thought it was probably some of my favorite moments just watching Marcus work. I think my favorite moment was honestly just seeing everything come together, like the, as the days went on and seeing each shot come together and seeing the final product was just honestly really rewarding. The dinner that like we had is not captured on any film or anything, but I think that was like, it was a moment, like we were all just sitting down eating these burgers that were bomb, man. Like, I never had these burgers before, but dab, like I'll go back to Lakeshore just, just to have those burgers, but, so it's just a moment like, you're sitting there and you're eating and you're reali realizing like, damn, this is like my work, like I'm getting paid to, to do something I enjoy and I, I'm chilling with these people that are great to be with. And, is this, yeah, a really nice moment Michael's going on. And I was talking to you guys about like my like my film ideas and stuff like that. It was just really fun to like talk to you guys about that and make you guys laugh and open up about it and stuff like that. We're all just kind of getting to hang out. I think like we went from, because this happened so early on in like our work term, we went like really quickly from like co-workers to like pretty fast friends. And that day kind of just gave us a lot of inside jokes, so. Be during like the end when we were like waiting for the sunset to happen, just because it was like nice and intimate and cozy and there was like beautiful colors everywhere and I was like ah oh, this is so nice this is just lovely I think the sunset was my favorite moment just watching it and that was really fun we got to take our group photo there and it turned out really good just it was really pretty and I didn't think it would turn out like as good as it did being safe is really 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 you know like ellipses really really important the message is so simple and it's so easy, it's nothing crazy. We're not trying to get you to do anything insane. It's just a simple message. It's about caring, caring about yourself, caring about other people. The messaging behind it is really important and I think that it's something that's not highlighted enough or a lot at all. Uh, people should watch this video because it was a lot of work and because we put a lot of heart into it and because it has a really good message. Thank mm -hmm. you.